Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we will be solving another question. So this is of an easy level. You are given a string and your task is to swap cases. In other words, convert all lowercase letters to uppercase letters and vice versa. So let's see the example. So this is a given string www.hackerrung.com. You could see it's a mix of uppercase and lowercase letter. So our task is to convert the uppercase letter here. W is uppercase. It is converted to small or lowercase w and the lowercase w is converted to uppercase. So our task is to just swap the cases. So let's see the another example. So Python is 2. So here P is uppercase and it is converted to lowercase and all others are lowercase and they are converted to uppercase and 2 is a number so it remains as it is. So we need to write this in a function called swap case and it accepts the string that need to be modified and it returns the modified string. So the input format should be we will be accepting a string. Yes. And its constraints are these. And we just need to print the output. So the code for taking the input and printing the output is already given. So we are taking the input. And passing that input to the swap case function which is not doing anything which we need to implement and just printing out the result that is written by the swap case function yes so, so let's get started uh, let's see the algorithm which we need to follow in order to do this task so first after getting the string we need to iterate through the string so we need to iterate through the string that means get each character of the string using the for loop check if each character is uppercase or lowercase that means after getting the first character second character so each character we need to check whether that character is uppercase or lowercase so if uppercase then we need to convert to lowercase if lowercase then we need to convert to uppercase so if else that means uh, the character could be a number or any anything else other than the alphabets we just need to keep it the same as it is so let's do that so let's write the for loop for char character for char actor in s yes. so we are getting an each character that means we are iterating through the string if character dot so we will be using the built-in functions so in order to check whether this character is upper or so first we need to we will check whether it is upper so is upper is a method so, so this is a method if this character is upper then this will become the this expression will become true so in that case we, we forgot to initialize output variable that means this is a variable which is empty to this we will be adding the result so to this output equal to output plus so we need to add the character but the lowercase version of it now it is upper that's why we are inside this if so dot lower so if you just call the lower method this character will become lower else elif character dot now we need to check whether it is lower so for that we will be using is lower so if the character is lower then we will enter inside this elif to the output we will add the uppercase version of this character we need to use upper method for that so is upper will be checking whether the character is upper, upper or not is lower will be checking whether the character is lower or not and these method lower and upper they they will actually convert this character to lower so this will convert this character to a lower whether it is upper or lower it, it just converts it to lower same with this upper so if it is not upper and lower the last case which is the else case it could be a number or any other character special character in that case we just need to keep it the same that means output equal to output plus the character we need not to modify the character anything 
pretty much done and we can just return back the output after all these operations now let's check run the code and check yes, the sample test case has been passed and let's submit the code and see yes uh, all the test cases has been passed and there is a much simpler way than this but this way is a better way i think because we are just writing everything explicitly that means ourselves we are writing everything the logic so there is a also a very like this thing is built into the python the string so instead of writing all these what you could do is we comment it out and you could say s dot swap case so all these building is built into the string method called swap case so you just run the code this case has been passed and you can submit the code it also passes all the test cases so it is up to us whether to choose this one or this one so i recommend using this one because we are writing the code explicitly uh, that's it guys uh, thank you for watching